Good morning, little ducks. We're letting this pasture recover, so we've tried to keep the goats off of it. And it's finally growing and looking like it ought to. So this morning I moved the goats to a brand new patch of ground somewhere they've not been for a long time and they're loving it. It's out behind this big barn here along the creek. I was actually gonna weed eat this section the other day. I said, hey, this brush is growing up. I don't want this to get out of control. This area has been so brushy. And then I thought, why should I weed eat it? When I, I'm trying to keep the goats off the big pasture, why don't I just fence it? So I did that this morning. It took me about 10 minutes. I ran a fence from one corner of the fence there all the way down to the pig fence here. So they're surrounded in this area by pig fence, an extra fence, goat fence, and the barn. This area is full of just luscious grass. But of course, the goats flew right in to the multi-floor road and the brambles. And that's what I want them to knock out in here so it doesn't just grow up into a mess that we can't even mow or cut later this summer. The nice thing about this area is it's got lots of shade from the barn. It's got water in the creek, plenty of feed and forage. And then if the goats go into labor and we miss it, and they're about to go, they're about to have babies, they can step into this barn. I've got this big pile of hay here. As soon as they go into labor, we'll get them out of this section, move them back into the other barn, and we'll take them out of here tonight. I don't want them out here at night. It's really starting to look like spring. Look at this tree. The garden is looking great. Everything's growing. Our strawberries are looking good. The asparagus is good. Onions are looking good. Though a little bit weedy. It's quite a beautiful day out here and I'm looking forward to anything I can get done or honestly any time I get to spend outside today. Uh -uh. Oh, I'll show you the whole time. The whole time. I'm not. Whoa, look what we got. Your fluffy stuff, or you, you're in a whole pile of agro. What is this called? Agro. I'm putting a little bit of this fairly fresh goat manure, well, it's been in that stall for a year, on this bed. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Some of it's fresh from on top, but the goat manure just isn't as concentrated, especially when it's mixed in with hay and straw. What we're doing down here is actually um, enriching this bed a little bit that we're gonna put, about to put some broccoli starts and I think cabbage in too. Why do you got it? Because goat poop is pure gold for gardening. Oh. The plants love it. Yeah. Yeah. They Are love. you gonna put some on the onions? On the onions? 
that all do? Not right now. Maybe later. Why? What? Why are you asking about the onions? I don't want to. Oh yeah? Are we going to eat the poop? No, we're not going to eat the poop. Well, how are you going to eat the plant? Well, the poop doesn't actually go into the plant. It's just nutrients from the poop. Sometimes kids ask questions that I do not know how to answer. It's like I've forgotten to ask questions that good or forgotten that I ever asked tree. them. Tall tree? Yeah. Is that going to go all the way up like those trees? No, onion won't grow as tall as those trees. Oh. But it's true that those trees start as small as an onion plant, right? If I'm gonna be realistic, that's probably all I'm doing it's today. It's 7.15. The kids are still playing. Sometimes they're in bed at this time. One thing I did is flame weeded along this fence. My, one of my goals this year, and I think I'm still gonna get it done, is to get raspberries in all the way along this side and maybe that side. Actually, just get them in the ground. So, the clock starts. We can maybe get some raspberries next year. So I'm kind of just shutting things down. And they gotta get this, gotta keep this garden gate closed. And there's really one main reason why. You could probably guess it. The main reason we gotta keep the garden gate closed is the ducks. The ducks. They're garden raiders already. They'll come in and eat peas and other stuff. Chickens will root things up, but the ducks are just, they like, seek and find what you've planted. The chickens kind of randomly scratch through. The ducks are super smart. They'll go find those seeds. They'll go find the pea seeds. They know where to look. Quite a nice view. Look out here. <laughs> There's two little munchkins playing right there. We have some guests coming tomorrow. And it kind of I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, here they come because the yard is a mess. There's there's a bathtub, bucket, crate, it's unmowed, tree, wire. And I don't, it's not so much that I mind people seeing it, but part of me does. And it, it's a productive mess, not because those things are productive, but because if, if I wasn't being productive, I would have had a cleanup day. I mean, We've been getting a lot done, but we haven't like taken a day just to clean up. Maybe we'll work on that in the morning. I don't know, maybe not. I kind of want to keep working in the garden. I absolutely love this time of day in the summers. Not only is it so beautiful, the light's beautiful. Often I'm shooting the end of a video. In the summers, the kids are out playing and they have such a nice time in these evenings. Everything is quiet. They're usually just happily playing if they're playing outside. And it's nice to look back on what I've gotten done in a day. Sometimes, actually often, it feels like I've not gotten enough done. I just love these moments though, still. No matter what, how I feel about the productivity of my day, this is a nice time of day. Hey goats. Braveheart's out here, but Bree has the girls locked in the stall back here. So they have some privacy, I guess. Privacy. Um, if they have their kids tonight, we can't wait. It's gonna come really soon. But we have to wait. And we'll let you know as soon as the kids get here. And then we took two cows and then a bull. It was nice. Yeah. And we took, and then we took three alive 